this is a proportional divider. I believe I bought it at Amazon. And today I'm going to show you how I use it to enlarge an image to a larger size. This instrument has several holes that you can switch this peg to and it will change the size of your enlargement. I usually move the peg around to different holes to decide the size that will work for me. This peg is a little snug, so I need to remove it and find another hole, put it in, and this slides on and snaps in place. You can easily remove it and place the peg in another hole. So now I'll set this aside and we'll prepare the photo. This is a print of a dog I will be using for this demonstration. I am going to use my ruler to draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. Then I'll draw another diagonal from the other corner to corner. Next, I will find the center point of my photo and draw a horizontal line. I am using my charcoal black pencil, so hopefully you can see the marks I'm making. Now I will measure the center point of my photo so that I can draw a vertical line. This completes the number of lines you need on your photo. The next step is to trim all the way around your photo with some scissors. Now on another sheet of paper, I am drawing a horizontal line at center. I am going to place my cutout picture on the center line of my paper. I'm going to mark all four corners of my image. I'm using my dark charcoal pencil so you can see it easier. I also want to add the center marks of the photo to my paper. I'll put my picture back on the center line. 
I'll add a little tape just to keep it in place. So now you should be able to see the dots I've made on my paper. And I am going to draw the vertical line on these dots. Then I will draw a diagonal line between the corners of my dots and I'm sure to extend very long lines as I do this. So this will complete the guidelines needed for our enlargement. So now I'm ready to use my proportional divider. The left side with the holes will be used to measure the actual photo. Then as I turn it around, the expanded side will be used for the enlargement. So now I'm going to measure my image. I am measuring from the center line to the diagonal corner. Then I will turn it around and place this new measurement on my paper. I am placing new dots for the enlargement. Then I will place dots for all corners of the enlargement. I'm going to check these points again before I draw any lines. So now you can see where the new dots have been placed and I'm going to draw the horizontal and vertical rules to create a square around this area. So this completes our guidelines. So now I'm going to take a measurement from the top of the photo to the top of the dog's head and transfer this mark to my paper. I will continue to take measurements and add them to my paper. Here I am measuring from the edge of the photo to the dog's eye and I'll turn this around and add that mark here. Next I will take a measurement from the top of the photo to the top of the dog's eye. Then I will turn my proportional divider around and place that mark on my paper. Next, I will measure the distance from the top of the image to the bottom of the dog's chin. I will use the other side of my divider and place that mark. I am going to measure the distance from the top to the top of the dog's ear and place that mark. And I'll do the same for the other ear. All 
I'm going to measure the distance from the side of the dog's ear to the edge of my paper. I will continue to add more marks until I feel I have enough guidelines to draw the image of the dog. You can place as many marks as you need and then when you're ready to draw the image, it's similar to, to connecting the dots on the page. I'm going to take a measurement to the side of the dog's face and this just about completes the marks I will be using. So now I have begun the drawing process with my dark charcoal pencil for you to see. I'm going to add a little bit of sketching just to get a feel for this outline. I am going to speed this up a little bit while I add a little bit more sketching to my picture. I will only use this sketch to transfer it to my art paper when I'm done. I am going to begin checking my measurements for accuracy. It's very important to check your accuracy before transferring your image to your art paper. I think I need to make a slight adjustment right here and add some shading to the top of his eyebrow. So I think the proportions are looking good and I will be able to transfer this image with some graphite paper to my UART sanded paper. I need a clean image transferred to my art paper because it's very difficult to draw and erase on the UART sanded paper. So I hope this demonstration has helped you understand the proportional divider process and helps you achieve an accurate drawing.